I'm Lynn Goldstein, a registered dietitian. Sugar, it's sweet and simple, right? Well, no. There's a lot more to the sweet stuff than you'd think. More and less. Raw sugar, honey, table sugar, brown sugar, molasses, cane juice, malt syrup, high fructose corn syrup, glucose, fructose, sucrose, dextrose. These are all different forms of sugar, high in calories and low in nutrients. So what's the lowdown on the sugar high? Sugar is the essential energy source we need to live. In particular, glucose, the simplest form of sugar, is our body's preferred fuel. It's what our cells burn. Most of our glucose comes from the carbohydrates we eat. There are two kinds of carbohydrates. Complex carbs include whole grain breads and cereals and starchy vegetables. Many complex carbohydrates are good sources of fiber and other nutrients along with all that energy. Simple carbs include sugars found naturally in foods like honey, fruits, vegetables, and dairy products. Simple carbs also include sugars added during food processing, and those are the ones to avoid, which is not so easy to do. That's because the American diet includes more refined foods than ever before, and too many of us are mainlining sugar as a result. That's because all the places manufacturers hide sugar in their foods. Added sugar is everywhere, in lots of different forms. Table sugar, or sucrose, is a combination of fructose and glucose, which are both simple sugars produced naturally by plants. What about high fructose corn syrup? Now there's no naturally occurring fructose in corn, but in the 1950s, scientists found a way to transform the glucose in corn into fructose. The resulting mixture is 90% fructose, which is very sweet. The benefit of high fructose corn syrup is that it's cheaper and dissolves more easily in liquid than table sugar does. Also, high fructose corn syrup acts as a preservative. These qualities make high fructose corn syrup very attractive to food manufacturers, especially as an ingredient in many sweetened drinks like sodas and other processed foods. But there have been growing concerns about the role high fructose corn syrup plays in encouraging obesity. Some studies suggest that drinking calories is more likely to cause weight gain than eating the same amount of calories from solid foods. This may be because liquid calories are not as satisfying as calories from solid food, so people tend to overdo it. The American Heart Association recommends that most American women should consume no more than 100 calories a day from added sugar, and for men, no more than 150 calories a day. That's about six teaspoons of added sugar for women and nine for men. To give you an idea of what that really means, one 12 ounce can of sweet and soft drink contains eight teaspoons of added sugar, or about 130 calories. That's already near or over the recommended daily limit. In fact, most Americans get more than 22 teaspoons of added sugar a day, or 355 calories, way beyond both the USDA guidelines and the American Heart Association recommendations. Here's what I tell my patients. Cut down on the added sugar in your diet and keep your eye on maintaining a healthy weight. By doing that, you'll lower your risk for serious conditions like type 2 diabetes, high blood pressure, cardiovascular disease, and even tooth decay. Now that's sweet.